Join us for all things Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, that is. We're talking Miami Dolphins football on the Fins Radio Network. He had to 
capability of not only rushing the passer but playing pass defense and run defense as well. So we'd send different linebackers from, you know, uh, in, like uh, like offenses that never seen before in terms of blitzing and that type of thing. And so from a strategic standpoint, Bill Arnsbarger, who engineered the whole thing and really put, put it all together, was uh, – he was way ahead of his uh, times because there are a number of teams still using that defense today. I think it was after our second Super Bowl win, uh, or my, my, maybe our first, I, I had my shoulder reconstructed uh, in the uh, off season because it was just so beat up. And, you know, we always got back to training camp, and Shula was a firm believer in just one-on-one -on -one stuff, just getting back to the fundamentals of blocking and tackling. So... There would be one lineman and one running back against one defensive person. Uh, the uh, the offensive lineman that I was facing was Jim Langer, who was one of the probably the greatest center in the history of the game. That and Larry Zonka, one of the toughest line, uh, fullbacks, oh if, if not the toughest. And here, a, a 225-pound line, linebacker was facing those two guys, and I told him, I think I barely. Uh, touched Zonka after after Langer uh, just blasted me about five or six yards back. <laughs> and then at the same time, I was trying to hold on to Zonka, and I maybe had his heel about ten yards down the field. You know, it's kind of one of those things. So I'm sure, sure I'm proud of you guys and, and your uh, your allegiance to the to Miami Dolphins. So just keep up the good work. Radio.net.